Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing well. Now, the title of this video is probably something like We Buy Any Car Are Lying To You. It's mainly to get your attention and there are a few elements of that. But this isn't a video for me to just pound on We Buy Any Car and I'm sure a lot of you are thinking that I want to promote my own car buying service. That's simply not the case for this video at all whatsoever. In fact, I won't even mention the name of my car buying service in this video. In fact, I quite admire We Buy Any Car. They're a very impressive company. The amount of growth that they have had since opening is incredible. They are one of those types of companies like Hoover that are just synonymous with what it is they do. You know, Hoover is a brand, Vacuum is the product, car buying website, it's a We Buy Any Car type of thing. They have done very well. So before we get into it, I guess I'll kind of give you the background of We Buy Any Car, how it came about and then we can talk about the few things that I take umbrage with when it comes to Wee Bunny Car and the kind of information surrounding them. So they were founded in 2006 by two brothers, which was Noel and Darren McKee. Uh, they were owners of Carcraft, I believe, which was their, a company their dad set up. And obviously they wanted a way to be able to buy cars for stock, probably, originally in those days. Um, so that was set up in 2006. In 2009 is when they started their campaign with the very catchy advert that you can probably all remember very well, kind of breakdancing news presenter. Toby will put a clip of that in here. We buy any car. We buy any car. Any, 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 any. We buy any car. Any make, any model, any age, any price from 50 quid to 100 grand. We buy any car. And interestingly, We Buy Any Car have done very well from kind of earworm type advertising campaigns with jingles that really stick in your head, which is really interesting because I'm sure I read somewhere that sound advertising is such an underappreciated asset because things stick in your memory from sound more than they do from visual. So most people know the sound of windows, for example. Um, it just is one of those things that sticks in your head. So most of their songs have, you know, like We Buy Any Car. All that sort of stuff. It sticks in your head and it really works very well. So I guess that's a lesson for all of us to take when it comes to advertising. Don't overlook the audio as well as the visual. Uh, 2010, they started doing vans as well. And in 2013, they were doing so well that British car auctions came in and bought them out. From then on out, obviously, they've kept growing. They've been bought out again by bigger and bigger groups, as always tends to happen with big corporations. And it's now owned by the Constellation Group as part of British Car Auctions, We Buy Any Car, Cinch, all of the likes. But that's how it all started out. So even that may be news to some of you that We Buy Any Car is owned by BCA in the same sort of group. Um, which makes sense because it's kind of like a self-feeding monster. They can buy the cars from the public. They can put them into the auctions, sell them on and make a profit. And that's where I think my first issue with some of the We Buy Any Car advertising comes in. Because in most of that adverts, they'll say something along the lines of, you may get a better deal on your next car if you buy with cash, sell your car with We Buy Any Car. Or you may get a better offer if you sell your car to We Buy Any Car kind of implanting this idea in consumers' minds that you will get a better deal with a used car dealer if you go with just cash and without a part exchange. And nine times out of ten, that is completely wrong. The reason we buy any car is saying that is because they want your car. Coming across stock is one of the hardest things to do in the used car trade, and they know that, so they're putting this idea in your mind. The same the way they've planted that earworm with their catchy jingles, they've planted this idea in your head that car dealers don't want part exchanges. And as I say, nine times out of 10, that simply isn't the case. They're struggling for stock as well, probably. And if you can go and present them to your car, especially if you know it's a nice car, you will probably get more from them. If it's a complete bag of rubbish, then maybe you are better off going to weave any car. But if you've got a nice car, I can almost guarantee that a dealer will give you more money than we buy any car will. So how can I guarantee that? Well, I mean, it's fairly obvious, really, because We Buy Any Car will buy the car from you. Let's say they give you £5,000 for it. They then turn around and send it to British Car Auctions to be sold. And who do you think is going to buy it? It might even be the dealer who you bought your new car with. They are looking for new stock. They might desperately want the type of car that you had, and they will pay for it. And in between, BCA, We Buy Any Car, everyone has been making a profit so they'll end up paying more for it than you traded it in for. If they didn't, We Buy Any Car just wouldn't exist. There is that margin to be made up. So 
If you can go to a dealer directly and perhaps you meet somewhere in the middle, it's a great deal for them and it's a great deal for you, then it probably works better that way. It makes it an easier transaction for you as well because you can drive your car there, buy the car that you want and drive away again. And it should be a very simple solution and you won't pay any admin fees. I'm sure there'll be people who are able to chime in the comments who will say perhaps we Bunny Car gave them better than the dealer offered. Perhaps they just didn't want your car because certain cars you know, if we don't want them, then we'll say, maybe you're better off going to a e car. But there will also be people who can chime in and say, they went to the garage and say, oh, I'm coming with cash. No part exchange? No, we took it to a e car because we thought we'd get a better deal that way. And I bet the dealer said, oh, I'd have given you more than that. I guarantee there are cases because I know we've done it. And by that point, obviously, it's too late. Um, but by no means is this video going to affect the whole market and let everyone know um, no way am I going to be more powerful than We Buy Any Cars advertising to say that you probably won't get a better deal by going to We Buy Any Car. Um, but it's a great solution for a lot of people. But just remember, you probably won't get more from We Buy Any Car than you would from a dealer part exchange, especially if they're a sizable dealer. Now, that is my main gripe, really. That's where I feel We Buy Any Car is lying to you. But there are a few other things that I think are quite interesting as well. Having dealt with We Buy Any Car myself in the past, one complaint in particular that We Buy Any Car gets is that when you get to them, they will knock you down on price for condition and whatever. And I think generally speaking, they are fairly fair and they do use a NAMA standard grading, N-A-M-A. -A. It's what all the auction houses and everything use, grade one to five, and they will put things on and things get knocked down. Interesting to remember when you do a quote on We Buy Any Car is there is a section called assumptions. You need to click on that and make sure that everything is correct because they will always assume that you have at least six months MOT. They will assume that you have two keys. They will assume that you have a reasonable amount of service history. It might even say that they assume that it has full service history from a main dealer. And they'll assume that, did I say two keys already? If I didn't, that it has two keys, um, among other things. So if you turn up and those things aren't correct, instantly you're gonna start losing money. So when you do a quote, make sure you do that. You check those things, the assumptions are correct before you actually turn up, because that's gonna give you a more realistic figure, save you disappointment on the day. One thing to always remember is that the We Buy Any Car representative is gonna get paid a commission if they buy your car. So I think it's a minimum of 20 pounds, if not more. I remember one I was speaking to said that he'd been having an absolute stormer of a month. He gets paid 20 pounds per car and he'd done 20 in one day or something. So you do the maths, it adds up quite quickly. And obviously they're incentivized then to buy them. So if they are knocking your car down for X amount and you think you might wanna meet them halfway, I think there is still a deal to be done with some of them. I can't say all, some are gonna be really strict, really anal, some are really lax, but I'm sure there are penalties for them as well if they consistently send badly graded cars to auction. But I know they have got leeway to do a bit of a deal with you. So if they're not a million miles off, then I think you can do a deal. And don't forget, they are incentivized to do it. So if you can offer them a deal on that day, I think, you know, in some cases it is gonna make a difference. So on the whole, just a couple of things that I think uh, need changing in the public perception of We Buy Any Car and car buying websites, but particularly We Buy Any Car. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about them whatsoever. Actually, I think they're a great service. I've certainly used them myself and I know a lot of people who have. I would say that it pays to shop around to some of the other car buying websites because there are absolutely loads of them out there these days. But just consider it this way. Obviously, you want to get a varying amount of prices and see which one works best for you. But probably the option that's got less middlemen in there, middlemen, middlewomen, middle persons, um, is probably going to get you a better deal because each time it goes through another set of hands, everyone's taking a slice of the pie. And at the end, the car's still only worth what it is worth to the trade. So you're going to end up with less so that everyone else can get fed. But if you look for a car buying service where it's obviously going into trade a bit like mine, you're probably going to get a better price, but not always. I'm sure there'll be plenty of people out there who have told me that We Bunny Car offered them more than mine did, etc., etc. All cases are different. But if you are looking to sell your car because you're looking to buy a new one, then I highly recommend you get a part exchange price first. You can phone them up, give them your reg mileage, let them know the condition. They're going to consider that as an individual car a bit more than just a website inputting it. I think you'll probably be surprised what you can get. Don't forget to use a vehicle score to check out the car you're gonna buy. It can give you a score from one to 999, let you know based on the MOT history, age, mileage, etc. how good that car is. 
You can also check out its MOT history, check out the mileage tracker to see whether that looks like it's consistently going up or staying the same. You wanna watch out for any dips going down. And before you hand over your hard-earned cash, whether you're part exchanging or not, make sure you do a history check on that vehicle. If you use the insured report from Vehicle Score, it's just £9.97. But use my code SHIFTINGMETAL20, you get 20% off, making it just £7.98. So that is it for this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know your experiences with We Buy Any Car. Let me know what you think of them as a company in general. If you would like any merchandise or any of my discount codes, including vehicle score, then head to my website, shiftingmetal.co.uk. If you need a car transport, head to boroughmotors.co.uk forward slash transport. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.